for five days, I took about 30 minutes to an hour to try out user testing to see how much money I can make. And I wanna show you guys what happened. So I started this whole thing on a Monday, and as you guys can see, I'm signing into usertesting.com. But right from the beginning, I was already met with some problems. For whatever reason, it will not allow me to sign into the website. Now you can access user testing from the computer as well as your device. Each one is gonna give you a different set of tests. But no matter what I clicked on, it would not let me get past this pop-up screen. I've been doing user testing since 2019, and as you guys can see, I've made about $700 doing this test on and off. So with no access to the computer, on this day, I was forced to do everything on the phone. User testing is just a website where big brands can actually connect with you to get your feedback on products that they're testing or want to improve. And for that feedback, they slide you a little chain change. All right, so the time right now is 12.51. Just got done with all the tests that I could qualify on my phone, which was absolutely none. So um, I'm gonna just uh, see what happens tomorrow. The part that sucks is I have so many tests on the computer that I could qualify for, but I can't get past this, um, this overlay screen. Hopefully by Tuesday, we can try this again. So yesterday totally sucked. Today is February 22nd, just so you guys can timestamp this with me. Looks like as of today, I'm able to log into the website. We can go ahead and timestamp this too. I have quite a bit. As again, it says I have 50 tests that I can possibly qualify for. I'm going to try to knock out some tests on the computer as well as on my phone uh, because yesterday I didn't make anything. And that's just one of the things you have to understand. Just because there's a lot of tests on your screen doesn't mean you're going to make a lot of money. I've seen these tests range anywhere from $4 all the way up to $60 in some cases. But here we go, just looking at the range of pricing, but they do have one here for 30 bucks. Uh, you will have to do a live conversation, but it's only 30 minutes for $30. So pretty much a dollar a minute. Now that I know all the accounts are working that I can actually log into everything, I'm gonna officially start this run. So it's a uh, 10, 26, so an hour from now, 11, 26, we'll see how much money we made, if anything. All right, so I just had one randomly come in that just says I qualify. I didn't even have to take any tests. So here's a t good $10 that I'm hopefully gonna make. So let's try to get it before it goes away. I accept it. Um, and we're ready to begin. I'm gonna start this test and see if I make $10. As you can see, I have uh, 14 minutes to finish it, but I'm actually running out of time because the very first thing you guys wanna make sure you do is have this installed, which I already thought I did. But make sure you have the uh, voice recorder and screen recorder installed on there before you start. Otherwise, you're just gonna be wasting time like I'm doing. Testing, testing mic, testing mic. Looks like we're good to go. Here's what the first scenario is all about, and we're gonna start. Okay, so I finally got done with that. That's 20 minutes for $10. Not the best average, but I was having that plug-in issue and I had to change computers to even start on this test. So that cost me some time. Plus there was a thing inside of the test that just was not allowing me to progress and I had to troubleshoot that. So probably could have got that done in maybe 10 to 15 minutes, but this should be $10. So they uploaded the test and I'm just gonna say close. We're gonna go back to my browser. Eventually after everything processes, probably within a couple of minutes, maybe an hour, um, I should see $10 here if all goes well. And I know a lot of you are probably asking, why didn't you go for the $60 test? This is what the $60 test looks like. Uh, which sports do you watch? I'm not a sports person, but I actually do watch mixed martial arts. Let's see if that's one that'll qualify me. Oh, doesn't look like it. But if you were a sports buff, you probably could have got that one. All right, here is another one. This one right here. This is gonna be a video call because they, I guess they wanna see facial expressions. So this is another one that I'm gonna accept. It says install the extension, which is already done. Start recorder and we're moving. Looks like we jumped the gun on that one. Couldn't complete that one because there was something going on with the camera. It wouldn't center me in the camera to recognize my face. So I couldn't move on to the next step. So there's a thing on there where you can report a problem and it says this. So I'm gonna have to briefly tell them what's going on. And um, that's pretty much that. I don't know if I'm gonna get paid for it or not. But as it says, we'll follow up with you regarding compensation. So I just reported that problem. And here's some good news. That other one I did, $10. Aside from doing user testing, I also do delivery apps like Instacart, Grubhub, and Uber Eats. And thought I might actually be able to qualify for this one. Even though I've delivered for those services, I wasn't part of any kind of assistance program. So this actually wasn't one that I qualify for. At this point, I'm only left with these three here, which are gonna be studies that take place more than seven days. Seven days worth of time is not worth $10. So I'm just gonna be declining each one of those. And that's all the tests I have for today on the computer and on the phone, but $10 so far. So it's the next day, Wednesday, another day, another dollar, hopefully. I'm gonna do my best to try to knock out as many of these tests as I can today. I'm planning on going out to drive. Well, let's see what I can do here and then I'm gonna hit the road. Now, this is funny. This is an unpaid test. Why would I waste my time giving you information you're not gonna pay me? You must be crazy, must be out of your mind, out of your mind. And that's a big no. Goodbye. <laughs> now, I know a lot of you say that you've actually tried to do user testing and you just haven't been able to qualify for things. But as you guys can see, I'm kind of struggling to get any money myself. But a lot of times it actually depends on your profile and what you do and where you live. So like this question here, I don't live in Idaho, but if I did, I possibly could actually take this test and qualify. But since I say no, let's just see what it says. Oh, maybe I don't have to. Uh, do you have internet access? Uh, who doesn't? Well, I guess unless you live in Idaho. And if you have one of these service providers. Yeah. I know, Mom. 
with Spectrum. Still, nope, didn't work out. But you can see it can be a little bit deceiving. Yeah, that maybe they weren't looking for people in Idaho to do that survey. They wanted it from outside of Idaho. It's very tricky. And also this question here, I saw this like three times yesterday when I was trying to do these tests. So check this out. Do you own your vehicle? I actually do have a vehicle that I paid off. Uh, do you have a driver's license? That's another question they asked me. And then here, are you the only decision making when it comes to doing processing, uh, to, you know, to making decisions on your vehicle? That would be me. Um, are you the main driver of the vehicle? No license taken my wheels. And so then here, one of them said, do you have a Toyota Prius? And then one of them said, do you have a Toyota hybrid? Um, I don't actually have this, so I'm gonna say no. And unfortunately, not a match still. If you figure out the sequence of some of these questions and then know how to answer the next round, you might actually get in. If you're gonna go that route and be deceptive, make sure you can deliver when you get to the testing round. If not, it could actually hurt your account. All right, so here's another one. I just got this same test and I clicked Toyota and it said I was not a match. Now I do also have a Jeep Commander out there. So let's see what happens if I hit Jeep. They don't like Toyotas or Jeeps. Oh well. Okay, so here's another one. Just like yesterday, I qualified for to have, I guess, like my facial expressions recorded. See if I can actually make some money from this one today, or is it gonna be another flop? Hopefully, because I would love to go ahead and get my $10. So we're gonna see what happens. So I can actually walk you through it today. Or we can just say skip tutorial. I know how to work it. And now we're gonna test the mic. I just wanna make sure I'm using my built-in mic. Voice sounds great. And now it says use the eyesight camera. This is perfect because this was not here yesterday, which means I might be able to make the $10 from this. So let me go try to knock this out. And I'll let you guys know what happened. If you look at the top right, you can see I finished this test in about 10 minutes. There were some issues where the demo screens were not loading for this, but even still, I just gave my feedback on the things that I could see, which wasn't much. <laughs> I'm gonna switch focus right now. It is 12, 14. I'm gonna try to do some on the phone and maybe I'll have better luck. So in between watching my favorite shows, I cleared all the tests that was on my phone. Unfortunately, I didn't qualify for anything, but the good news is I did get the $10 from that last test, giving me a total right now of 20 bucks so from other devices it looks like there's still some tests i can do so i'm gonna go back to the computer oh, wow this is probably the biggest test i think i've ever seen offered here 90 dollars. let's see if we can actually register for this one my goodness Dean, it looks like that was not the winner <laughs> be back tomorrow so here we are on thursday i'm just making myself some food I was actually planning on going out to drive, but the news reported black ice everywhere and they recommended everybody stayed home, which was great by me because it gave me opportunity to try to do some more of this future testing. And this is a fun question to answer. Who doesn't like to be reminded of how old they're getting? No, I'm 56 years old. Damn! I'm sorry. Guess they don't wanna do anything with old folks. Uh, don't think I'm gonna qualify for this one. Call it a hunch, but I, I don't think I'm gonna qualify for this one. And again, here's another set of questions related to a car. This time, I am just gonna, I'm gonna answer them differently this time. Let's just see what happens. Uh, I'm a decision maker. Uh, yes, I own my vehicle. You have a uh, hybrid. What year is your hybrid? That is probably gonna be what's gonna get me into the test. Pretty much saying you'll be agreeing to answering the questions related to that. I don't have this car. I'm not gonna mess up my account, but you guys can see, if I probably hit a green, I'm probably gonna be able to get this $10. If they ask you about a certain feature of that car and you don't know, that could look bad. Check and see if we're actually gonna get far in here. There's 19 questions asked, I'm on six right now. Can I get for those? Ah, now it's gone. Close, so close. <laughs> With everything cleared out on the computer, I went ahead and flipped and seasoned my chicken as I was getting ready to tackle any tests that I might be able to do on my phone. There's also something that you guys might wanna pay attention to because when you do it on the phone, if you get it wrong, it shows you what the next slide is, which kind of gives you a hint as to what answer sequence they want. It's going, okay, so I'm gonna start test, right? What products or services are you looking to buy online in the next six months? Uh, let's just say I'm gonna get a laptop, groceries, kitchen appliances, um, no photo books, no outside stuff. Good enough, right? Oh, let's wall art and calendar. So when you hit next, see how it shows you what the next one is? So what they were wanting me to choose was the photo books. So if I see that again, I might change up my strategy and just choose something that aligns with what this is. And then maybe I can get to the next step. But again, if you guys get to the next step and you get to the part where they're asking you questions, you better be able to deliver. Don't come looking at me. Well, another sad, sad day. Um, as you guys can see, let me show you. Finished with all the tests on the computer. It is 3.05 and there is nothing currently coming through on the phone. Um, so even though I made no money, I was still able to mess around with this while I was just trying to make my food. So you guys might've actually been successful. Unfortunately today, I was not. So here I am on Friday, one day away from finishing this whole thing. I started a little bit later than usual, but in between watching some videos, I was able to qualify for a test directly on my phone for $10. So with that, that should be another $10 and I'm gonna keep moving on and see how much more I can get. But it wouldn't be much because yet again, all the tests on the phone and the computer dried up. 
So with it being Friday, it's uh, 6.56. Uh, this was my off day. I was just chilling out as I said, I was just watching some movies. And in between that, I just bust open the user testing, made $10. And um, tomorrow will be my last day. I'm hoping to actually knock it out before I leave for the day. But if not, when I get home, I'll try it again for 30 minutes to an hour and see how much money I can make. And then we'll wrap this whole thing up. It is Saturday, last day of this. Oops, looks like I should probably pay my cable bill. Otherwise, we're gonna get this video uploaded. Tell me you're broke without telling me you're broke. I'll go first. Um, I'm hoping to make $20 today, uh, but that might not happen. <laughs> Move this out of the way so we can get started today. So I don't wanna say I jinxed myself, but I jinxed myself. When I signed into the computer as well as the phone, both of them were completely blank. So I went ahead and did my delivery apps for the day. And when I came back home, tried to see if I can capitalize on any surveys to make any more extra money. Let's just take a look at this really quick. Uh, there is one test on the phone. I guess today is just not a really good day to do uh, user testing. Uh, never mind. <laughs> it asked me what country would I live in. I said United States, and uh, that's not what they wanted to hear. So that pretty much brings us to this blank screen right now. You know, I will say I'm a little bummed that I wasn't able to make any money today. I'm surprised that there wasn't as many tests. Normally, my phone is always buzzing and beeping when I'm ignoring it. When I'm actually trying to do it, there's nothing there. But I'm also kind of glad because you guys can see the reality of this. Not every day is gonna be a winner with user testing. That's why this is not something you can rely on. This is not something that's gonna pay your mortgage. Just do these in between your everyday kind of thing and you might be surprised what you can make. Speaking of which, now that this test is over, we know officially I've made $30 doing user testing for this entire week. You guys let me know if you think user testing is worth it. If you haven't already, there's a link down in the bio or you can just go to usertesting.com. It's not affiliated at all. If you guys have had experience with user testing, please also let me know i mean some people like this person here has had great experience with it but do understand that's not going to be the reality for everybody if there's another website you guys want me to try i can do my best to try to get you a video and we can see if that's actually a really good side hustle but until that next video comes out guys i hope you have a great day keep plugging away at those side hustles and i'll catch you in the next video peace and just a heads up, if you're looking for more gig life related content, don't forget to check us out on TikTok and YouTube stories. Also, be sure to check out our merchandise in our Amazon store. Links for everything can be found in the description box below. We thank you in advance for your support.